that are running in this race want to talk about being the outsider. They want to say that I'm the insider, they're the outsider. Look, I'm a business guy. I've been in business. I'm a, still a CPA, and uh, I'm pretty much bringing my 30 years of business experience to Washington. I, I know that's what the president likes, uh, and I also know that's what the people like. Ohio Republican Congressman Jim Renacci last week taking on AIM at my next guest as Republicans fight for the opportunity to try and flip a Senate seat in Ohio come November. The challenger is Mike Gibbons. He's a businessman. He's from Cleveland, Ohio. He's my guest now on our program. And, sir, thank you for being here. And I uh, just want to tell our viewers, got a long delay from you, you New York to Cleveland. I don't know why it takes three seconds, but nonetheless, that's what we get. Donald Trump won your state by eight points. We, we did a debate last week in West Virginia. Th these three candidates, th they could not, they mentioned Donald Trump in just about every answer they gave. Now, is that the state of play today in Ohio as well, <laughs> or, or is it different, sir? I, I think it's uh, very similar. Uh, I think uh, my opponent, Jim Renacci, has taken it to an extreme. He's basically said, hey, the president said he wants me as... Uh, is a senator, uh, so therefore you should vote for me. Um, I was co-chair of the Trump campaign uh, in fun uh, fundraising in Ohio. I gave him the largest personal donation I've ever given to a candidate. I raised a significant amount of money for him, made uh, hundreds of calls. Um, he also offered me a job in the administration, and I was competing for one when I decided to run for the Senate. The, uh, the, <coughs> sorry, um, the, um, I'm sorry, somebody just walked in front of the camera. <laughs> that's okay. I think that's why they uh, call it. Jim Renacci keeps keep some of I'm sorry, Jim Renacci could. could. If I could, I just want to play a little Jim, bit. Jim Renacci keeps calling himself. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, the president is endorsing your your uh, your candidate, Jim Renacci there. Uh, he said this just last week. Okay? He is. Uh, ro roll this and I'll ask you about it. He's really doing great. He's really got a big shot at doing it. I really suspect you're going to be a even more fantastic senator. So we need your vote. We need your help. So go out and help Jim. Now, he also sent out a tweet, too. I just want you to react to that. I mean, is that stacking up against you pretty badly there? Or, or so, how do you overcome that tomorrow in the primary? No, it is not. I have the bulk of the Trump supporters on my side. I've been endorsed by Citizens for Trump. I had a robocall last night with the, um, the chairman of Women for Trump. Um, I think Donald Trump will be just fine with me. Jim Renacci is, a, is not an outsider. He's been in four terms in Congress. Uh, Mitch McConnell recruited him. Obviously, they've gotten the cooperation of the president. J Mitch McConnell uh, has donated $10,000 to his campaign. He does not want me in office. He doesn't think I'm going to be uh, uh, responding uh, as, as uh, cooperatively as he would like somebody to respond if I get to the Senate. Uh, I I'm certainly can be a team player, but I'm going to vote on the basis of my principles and what I've told the voters I'm going to do. Yeah, um, he, he goes after you as being anti-Trump and would be a, a vote for pro-choice in Washington, D.C. Give, me, give, me, uh, give our viewers a sense of what's, <laughs> well, what you think Ohio voters are looking for right now, 18 months removed from a national election, sir. Well, I can, t I can tell you what they're looking for, because every time I go out, and I've been in all 88 counties, my opponent has not. I've given it the respect voters deserve. I've talked to a lot of people. My best applause line is when I start out by saying I'm not a politician. Um, I'm running because I think career politicians are a problem. And Jim Renacci started out as a lobbyist, spent four terms in Congress, um, was running as governor and walking around the state, uh, driving around the state, telling everybody he was ineffective as a legislator. Uh, he didn't want to be part of the legis uh, legislative body. He couldn't get anything done. That's why he wanted to be governor. Uh, Mitch McConnell recruited him, tried to recruit a number of other people. He took the bait, and now he wants to be a senator. Yeah. That's Sir, um, thank you for your time. It's going to be an interesting showdown tomorrow. Mike Gibbons, the businessman from Cleveland, Ohio, who... Uh, you're dealing with all kinds of distractions walking in front of the camera. Thanks for hanging in there, sir, and thank you for your time today. <laughs> thank you. Big vote tomorrow. Thank you. A boy who was declared a